Washington commanders will no longer be returning to Richmond for any part of their training. But even with the team gone, you will still be picking up the tab for at least another decade as the city tries to figure out what to do next with that facility. Richmond reporter Henry Graff joining us live there on Lee Street with details. Henry. Kirk, good evening to you. Yeah, the current mayor telling me this entire area here behind me could become a park, possibly, or some other inclusive space. It's also prime real estate here in Richmond, but we're also learning the city still has to pay on that football project from a decade ago for at least another decade. A 2013 deal to build a training facility for the Washington commanders in Richmond is under the microscope yet again. Breaking news, the commanders are not coming back to Richmond. Tuesday, Mayor LeVar Stoney also reacting to news that taxpayers will be footing the bill that brought the team here until 2033. And I think and I can fully understand why some city residents may not feel they've received that return on investment. At the time, then Mayor Dwight Jones and City Council pushed forward on a deal to bring the Washington Commander's training facility to the Scotts Edition section of Richmond. It was criticized at the time and construction costs went over budget. When you talk about a franchise that is only going to be practicing here 10 to 13, maybe 14 days out of the year, you know, is this a good use of taxpayer dollars, you know, to build a facility that no longer they will be occupying. As of 2018, the city had only paid about $1.9 million on the loan and refinanced the balance. So City Hall is making payments until 2033 and at a price tag of about $700,000 each year. At the time of the deal, the city's Economic Development Authority had hoped money from sponsorships and leasing the space at other times would cover that big bill. But the reality is this, there's a better use of funds and now we can begin to talk about best possible usage of that space. Now current city leaders left holding the bag are trying to figure out what can be done with the land while also applying lessons learned from the decade old bad deal. And so every time we consider an economic development endeavor, we have to consider whether or not this is a good use of taxpayer dollars that will bring a return to the city for the long term. Back out here live, the mayor also telling me today the fact that this land is next to two museums, the Science Museum of Virginia, but also the Children's Museum, that will be taken into consideration as they decide a future use for this land here. For now, we are live and on your side tonight here in Richmond. I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. All right, thank you, Henry.